Edinburgh coach Alan Solomons described himself as happy with the progress his side has made this term. They travel to Italy looking for back-to-back -back away wins for the first time since September 2009. Tim Visser returned for a first start since breaking his leg in October. Zebre started bottom of the table, but Andrea Cavanato's side were looking for points for the third match in a row for only the second time. They were only beaten by a two-point margin away to Edinburgh last November and were hoping to reverse that here. The visitors opened the scoring in the second minute when South African Carl Bezadenhout, back in at number 10, comfortably slotted an early penalty between the posts. At the other end, Zebre looked set to score, having gone through a number of phases close to the Edinburgh line, only for Sam Vunisa to knock on when he looked certain to score. But the play was called back for an earlier infringement, and Luciano Orquera had the easy task of putting it over to make it 3 all in the eighth minute. Zebre were enjoying territorial supremacy at this stage and they got the reward their attacking play deserved in the 16th minute. Having worked the ball out wide, the Italians kept it alive and winger Gio Venditti eventually forced his way over the line to get the touchdown and the first try of the encounter to the delight of the home supporters. Only the Italian international winger's second try of the campaign but a vitally important one for Cabinato's men, putting them eight points to three ahead. Orquera a little unlucky to see his conversion attempt rebound off the upright. The home side added to that lead in the 28th minute. Long-range specialist Gonzalo Garcia just about landing this penalty from 47 metres. That made it 11-3 in Zebre's favour. Five minutes later, Bezaden Holt steadied the Edinburgh ship with a penalty to bring it back to 11-6 before Garcia was on the mark with the last kick of the half again from distance to leave the Italians 14-6 ahead at the break. <laughs> Whatever Alan Solomon said in the dressing room at half-time seemed to have an immediate effect because Edinburgh started the second period with much more purpose and they made the breakthrough in the 45th minute. A lovely move involving Visser and Harry Leonard to carve open the Zebra defence. Matt Scott running through the gap and under the posts to bring the visitors right back into the match. A third try in three games for the Scottish International Centre and this was a real beauty. Jack Cuthbert converted to bring Edinburgh back to within a point of their hosts. Zebra 14. Edinburgh 13. But Zebre have a new resolve this season under Cavinato, and their response to that setback was extremely positive. Within seven minutes, they'd extended the lead once more with another controlled attack. Captain Quentin Geldenhoys came close to getting to the line himself, but he had the awareness to find the onrushing Filippo Cristiano, and he had enough velocity to get over the line for another important score for the Italians. A second try of the season for the number six from Torino. Orquera's conversion was just off target, but Zebre were 19-13 ahead with 28 minutes remaining. Edinburgh huffed and puffed but couldn't make any inroads into the Zebre lead. And in fact, the Italians increased their advantage three minutes from time, winning the scrum against the head. Then the ball was fed to substitute Kameli Ratubu, who drove towards the line and got over for the try. The Fijian International's first ever score in the Rabo Direct Pro 12, and a timely one for Zebre, extending their lead to 26 13 when Orquera added the conversion. And that's how it stayed until Peter Fitzgibbon blew the full time whistle. A hugely significant win for Zebre as they harbour hopes of European rugby next season. Edinburgh may be making progress in general, but this was a setback. Final score at the Stadio 25 Aprile, Zebre 26, Edinburgh 13.